to everyone to introduce the narayana group i think uh, it's a marquee organization from india mm-hmm. 40 years old young directors we recently took over the management 6 uh, years ago 5 6 mm-hmm. years ago and we've seen a tremendous growth in uh, in education in india yeah. and today the narayana group uh, in classroom has 400000 students mm-hmm. and employees about 40000 of them um we've seen that we have a very unique position in the country today to be able to define education policy mm-hmm. um it's not just about uh, churning out more and more students but how can we play a role in nation building yeah. and i think private education institutions in india have a very very important role to play in nation building and we are in fact focused of the last 3 uh, 4 years to mm-hmm. see how we can be involved in in this process of trying to prepare our students Mm-hmm. for the challenges of tomorrow so how do you how do you do that i think we have to it, it's it's a way of changing our curriculum and sindhu will talk more about this is is preparing the curriculum and the students in a way that they have to have the skills that are required mm-hmm. uh going forward the world is changing very rapidly uh and you know what skills were 30 years ago are not what are relevant yeah. today and we have to also evolve as an education institution uh and and make sure our students are prepared for those challenges give an example of how you do that okay um very simple example is let's say leadership and uh, presentation skills okay in in earlier schools you know these were not very important it's only the the core curriculum subjects that you're tested on and these were the important things that that uh, you know the outside world wanted you to achieve but today these skills are what now are are what are required in jobs what are required in your daily in life communication skills and absolutely public speaking or oratory skills and absolutely right. and also that's a lot of focus that you yes put on yes while we have to be careful here not to deviate from the core mm-hmm. uh too much because that then will disrupt the mm-hmm. system but how do we supplement it with things that are important and more relevant yeah. and bring that blend into uh, into the into the curriculum obviously private education unfortunately or fortunately has to take that mantle of preparing the students mm-hmm. uh, for tomorrow yeah. which is why in the sector there are certain challenges that are regulatory challenges mm-hmm. because you can change curriculum only to that extent yeah. uh, you can you have to follow the norms of the government but unless we are able to adapt mm-hmm. um, um you know to the extent of flexibility that has been given to us mm-hmm. to ensure that our students are prepared over a period of time to face the challenges of the future we'll become irrelevant and that will be a great disservice to this okay. nation okay so what are the core values <coughs> of the business so narana group goes by the motto stramaya vijayate well, what stramaya vijayate is and sanskrit means is hard work alone prevails mm-hmm. so we believe in hard work and of course even smart work yeah. all of us when i say hard work it's not just about students the teachers and the core members the central office all of us directors the chairman all of us believe in that so that's the core element. just exemplify a little bit of the hard work and the smart work both front sure yeah. so um narana group is a 40 yeah. year old organization it yeah. started in 1979 by my father who is a teacher uh, the only way he succeeded in his life was to go to a college and a good education for himself mm-hmm. he worked hard and that's how he got it he became a gold medalist in statistics and post that he started off uh, teaching in a government institution mm-hmm. as a maths teacher mm-hmm. and then simultaneously started taking some tuition classes to train students to get into good engineering colleges mm-hmm. and medical uh, colleges mm-hmm. so basically he was preparing them for the entrance exam so as he went on to do that he realized that's where he can make much more difference mm-hmm. than teaching in a classroom in a mm-hmm. government institution so he went on to start a a uh, coaching institution following that uh, a college and then a lot of schools yeah. and that's how we ended up with 400,000 students now yeah. with 40,000 employees yeah. uh and we are spread in more than 10 states in India right now so um all this happened only because of sheer hard work and mm-hmm. the smart work as well so that's what he has done by himself is what we believe works out for most of the students who belong to middle class or below middle yeah. class in india your ticket out of uh that class and going to the next next level sure. is education yeah. and we try to impart that quality education uh at, at the lowest cost possible mm-hmm. so that it's uh, affordable yeah. and attainable uh through 
our curriculum, the Narayana curriculum. Okay, there are something there are too many private institutions in India, of course. Right. And I always say this that attributes of any brand can be copied. Right. You could put up a huge building, a seventh floor building, and any floor building your competitor would put. What is the core value of the group? Which you think is irreplaceable. So now that's a, that makes a great brand because today we are also under, revealing right. the inspirational brands. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's yes, as you rightly said, a lot of things can be copied anywhere for in any all organization. In any, copied, any yeah. all attributes can be copied, but change is something that is not so easily done in many yeah. organizations. Yeah. So when it comes to Narena, we don't believe in creating something in the central office and you know spreading it across to all the branches we our r d goes beyond our office we go to the classrooms we go to the best teachers who teach in the classrooms we take from their everyday experience and thereby create a curriculum and we keep constantly changing it day to day okay. so that day to day being ahead of the rest of our competitors uh, in terms of changes is what makes us stay so we do, um, you know, bring the local communities together and try to explain to them how, the, how what is the differentiation between what we offer and the surrounding schools offer. Yeah. So it could be something as simple as the local apartment uh, students together yeah. or, you know, um, local, and when we are trying to get students into primary, the mm. local pre-primary students together, all that. Yeah. That is one way of uh, approaching. And just to add to that, I think we have a 2,500 member yeah. Um, ground level, okay. uh, we call them PROs, mm -hmm. uh, sales force basically. Yeah. What we've understood over a period of time is we can do some things at, at a national global level but individually there has to be some teacher who will come and say this is what the curriculum is about. So whatever I explain to you now. Yes, so whatever I explain to you now yeah, about curriculum, about micro It becomes an extremely Very important helpful. thing. Yeah. So we need to have feet on the street. Yeah. And we do have that feature. So on the let's street. talk about that sales bit. Yes. 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 How do you do that? Exactly. So so we have a we have a uh, about forty to fifty member uh, feet on the street team for every new school that we start, and a five to ten member team for an old school or an existing school yeah. that uh, yeah. you know yeah. that we start. So what these guys do is they go to the local areas with the apartment complexes mm -hmm. or local malls, and and they and they have these events. Were they explaining to them about the curriculum, about the examination pattern, about the new age technologies that we're bringing and the new age curriculum that we're designing? All these things are explained to the parent at a personal level. Yeah. And then the parent is actually getting convinced over the table saying, look, this is different. This is what is uh, important for my child to compete in the real world. Yeah. And I would like to take an admission here. Your exam has been completely changed to online from mm -hmm. 2019. Students just wrote the exam and they got the JE main result a, a week back. Mm -hmm. So despite all the changes that has, has been going through and uh, as, you have, as you can see our institution is a 40 year old successful institution, we were able to manage to stay ahead of time and prepare, be prepared for the changes. It could be an online exam, it could be uh, a different model exam, different mm -hmm. pattern, negative negative marking, no negative marking, any kind of exam, our students are able to crack through. We a couple them of, to uh, couple of this to add to what Sindhu is saying, the couple of things that I can think of are unique to us is something called a micro schedule. Mm -hmm. um, a micro schedule is very, very interesting because we've managed to create a s SOP kind of curriculum. Yeah which you know today a teacher goes to the classroom teacher doesn't need to go to what do i need to teach today how do i need to teach it so we've made sure that every single chapter is broken down into periods mm -hmm. and defined in a schedule and given to a teacher okay. so if you go to any six standard classroom in mumbai mm -hmm. or in delhi or in bangalore yeah. in that time of the day the teacher will probably be teaching the exact same page in this chapter in the book across the country really yes yeah. So that's the micro schedule that we've prepared and, and made sure that micro schedule, like she said, has been researched very strongly at a central level okay. and then communicated with it. So teacher need not come tomorrow and say, okay, today should I do this? Today should I do that? And every week, every two weeks, they write a national level competitive examination. Okay. So a student may think he's very good coming first in his class in, in let's say eighth standard in, in Bangalore. But suddenly he's competing at a national level with all eighth standard students mm -hmm. and he's coming 344th. Yeah. So this is telling the child, look, you may be good where you are today, mm -hmm. but once you go out into the real world and you face the real competition, you are 344th. Yeah. So you have to push yourself, you have to continuously keep moving and improving. So extracting that very last ounce of potential mm -hmm. in every student, which every child is gifted, 
they're given the right circumstances given the right training everybody succeeds Thank you.